St. Louis is all about investing in people, and one man who is doing just that is Ali Mosea with I Karate Club. He's making sure that St. Louisans are really fit, agile, and aware. Ali, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Fit, agile, aware, those are your big three. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? So basically, it's just when you're working out, a lot of times you'll get fit, you'll get agile but you won't get aware. So cardio defense here, what we're doing is teaching people real self-defense moves while also allowing them to get in shape and burn like 300 plus calories maybe in like 60 minutes. Woo, count me in. I want to burn all of those calories yeah. and keep them off. Yeah. And then I'm becoming fit, agile, and aware. <laughs> what are some of those moves that people are going to learn inside of that class? So basically in the class, we're doing just basic front snap kicks and side kicks learning. You know, if they can't see, they can't fight. If they can't breathe, they can't fight. So some of the kicks we're doing, you know, we're getting pretty fit and agile and getting our foot up there and then working our side kick and just learning how to keep opponents off of us. But that is burning a lot of calories and you're standing on one leg, you know, and so. You those leg muscles nice yeah, and strong. Yeah, nice and strong, Ali, ladies. Your, your foot was up here. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, well, I can kind of get it up, you know. Whoa, We can see? get it up there, but the thing is, so that is the person that attacked me. Now they're down, but I've also burned some calories. I like that. And now I'm also aware. And that was one of the things we wanted to talk about too, being aware. So our people know when you walk in a room, look for the exits, but also when you use the ATM, they've been, people have been getting robbed at the ATMs. They are, and we have a couple of videos for you. We're gonna show you what not to do at an ATM. People really do need to make sure they are aware of their surroundings. Yeah. So you're not necessarily looking for exits when you're at ATMs, but what do you need to be? So when you're at an ATM, the first thing is, every time you touch the keypad, turn and look. You enter your code, turn and look. Because what people are doing, they're not there when you pull up. Mm -hmm. But after you get engaged looking at your money, everybody's going to know. You off guard, yeah, right? Everybody <laughs> wants to know how much money we got. And you start looking, the next thing you know, they pull up on you. So I suggest constantly rotating and looking like on the video. And seniors and young drivers need to be aware because they just start learning how to drive. So they figure they're not even looking. And then keep some pepper spray, I think, on in your car. Because if someone comes up, you can spray it right out the window. See, I love that. We have a video of what to do, like Ali mentioned, is you just wanna you just wanna be alert, aware. I'm putting in my pen, I got one, two, three, four, putting it in, checking, making sure I'm not gonna get attacked. And a lot of people actually do find themselves in uh, some not so great situations at ATMs, right? Yes, and so you wanna look at the time, you wanna plan. Like if you're going out for the evening, go get your money before the night drops, right. you know, and, and walking up to ATM is really dangerous, especially in St. Louis, because some people just figure when you get it out, that's the easiest way to steal it. Like as soon as you take it out, yep. they don't wanna take it out <laughs> your car. And watch your cars do, they're breaking in those too. Please make sure that you are aware, <laughs> Ali can not only make sure you are in shape and burning those calories with his cardio deep in class, but he can also make sure that you are aware with lots of other self-defense opportunities, not only for, for you, but for seniors, for those kids in your life. Where can people find you at iKarate Club? So we're at the Heights right now. We have Mondays at 6 p.m. cardio defense class and Thursdays. And we're also, the next week, we're going to do a free class at the Java Coffee Spot coming up nice. off of Tower Grove. And it's at, uh, what's it? right off of Manchester and Boyle. And so we got a free class coming up. Well, awesome, mark your calendars. That free class is coming up and you can learn how to get our man down. <laughs> That's Bob Wyoming. there. Bob, Bob is down. Yeah, Bob is so down. if you want to get down like Bob, come <laughs> check us out at the Heights, Mondays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Bob is down. We Bob don't want him to down. get up. <laughs> Bob is gone. You put him in a coffin. That's it. Ali, thanks so much. I would try my hand at Bob today, but um, I have one heels and I want to make it to the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't. Thank you, thank you. Ali, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. Next time, I'll bring my sneakers. Yeah, we can play can, with Bob a little bit. Bob and I can get down. That's right. I like it. Thanks so much for being here with us. St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll have a lot more of the show in just a couple of minutes. <laughs>